first of all, PTA, as long as the local school districts support charter schools and it's funded, we're all for it. Uh, where we part, the, the, the hair is, if you have private charter schools that deny uh, children, you know, equal opportunities. And, and, and that's where that comes in. If we're going to, uh, education is a philosophy. If you believe that education is a public good as opposed to a private good, then you want what's best for all students. So when you have private charters and, and, and they say, we're going to pick this student and that student, but you're going to pay your tax dollars for this, that's just wrong. Okay, so, uh, and same thing with vouchers. Uh, with vouchers, um, is it taken away from the public school? Because that's where 90% of your children are educated in North Carolina. So if uh, I, have, I have nothing against private schools. If you want to send your child to a private school, go for it. But again, it's on your dime because it's a private, private you know, school and you want, you want your child to have that. And again, uh, with charter schools, if it denies any student based upon race or any other you know, discriminatory fact, then it's, it's, it's not correct. And we should not invest our tax dollars in that. The average cost per student is about 8,300 bucks, 8,300 dollars. So with that being said, you know, if you give a voucher to someone for $5,000, $3,000 has to be made up somewhere. And when you're talking about some charter schools, that there's no bus services. And uh, one of the challenges we've seen around the country also is uh, special needs. You have a special needs child go to a charter school. Uh, they're given money out of the public school system. And they'll say, we can't handle this person. So we want to send you back to the special, send you back to the public school. They can accommodate your needs better. And a lot of times, depending upon timing, one of the undersides to sometimes private charter schools, um, when the state or states that practice this, they provide monies uh, to those charter schools through vouchers and other programs. Uh, once they hit that uh, point in the school year, whether it's October 1st or whatever, have to report the number of students. Uh, once they report, get the money, and then shortly they have to return the students to the public schools where well, the money doesn't follow them back to the public schools. So again, you're educating um, you know, children that the money is over here but the, the child is over here, which is wrong.